Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ways of the Sith. Thank you so much for taking time to check out the channel. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on X and Instagram at Ways of the Sith. So, man, I gotta say, it feels good to get some new G.I. Joes. I haven't gotten G.I. Joes since the Quick Kick Big Bella Wave. Um, those are the last couple ones that I picked up. I think this is pretty much my last wave that I'm gonna be picking up. Uh, going forward with Joe's, I want to be a little bit more selective because I only have so much space. Um, so I'm really only going to try to pick up a couple more characters from the movie and the Cobra Law stuff. And hopefully, hopefully, if anybody from Hasbro is listening, Law and Order. They're the, the two that I really want the most. Um, so hopefully they get put in the pipeline at some point. But we got a lot. We got two Dreadnoughts. We got Doc and one of my personal favorite characters, Jinx. So she's been the one I've been looking forward to the most. I also got the Retro Beachhead in. I had filmed a separate review, but I'm just going to throw him in here and include it in here just to knock out all these Joes in one shot. So what do you say? Let's take a look. All right, so first up, might as well go with the one that's already open and that I already filmed something for. Um, here is a look at Retro Classified Beachhead. And to me, this is absolutely perfect. Uh, the green's a little bit more subtle, not as like light as it was. It looks more in line with his look from the movie. And, and that's really what I wanted. I missed out on the previous version. So he'd been a character that I had been hoping that they'd redo at some point. So I, I'm really glad that they did. Um, I think they nailed it with this release. The camo, the, uh, the vest looks great. They did his beret like tucked in up there. So he didn't come with a beret this time, which would have been nice. He does have the satchel with the grenades like snake eyes. Um, comes with two knives, one on the ankle, one on the waist. Comes with his crossbow and his gun. Um, and then also has a, a pistol with a silencer. The one drawback that I had with this was that the crossbow and the rifle have no place to go. So those this backpack doesn't have those notches on it so you could store the weapons. So unfortunately, that's my only negative thing to say about this otherwise uh the figure looks really great it was easy to pose it helps that it's been over 100 degrees here for like the past two weeks so when stuff comes now it, it's kind of heated up a little bit from being outside <laughs> but overall I, I definitely like this and, and would recommend picking it up all right and here is our look at naga hive with pork belly and yobo yabo i'm not sure how to say it but i'm gonna say yabo um this looks really cool. I know a lot of people were just calling them Timon and Pumbaa because that's essentially what they are. Um, but I am very happy to continue building out the Dreadnoughts. They're the one faction that I want to get everybody for. Um, like I said, Cobra La is the other one that, that once I kind of finish those two out, I, I don't really think I'm going to be picking up too many more Cobra people um, unless they do Laura or some of the other characters from the comics. But Nogod was one of the ones in the second generation G.I. Joe series. So the one with Metalhead, the one that he's from. Uh, I forget the actual title of that Joe show. I'm sure I'm gonna get inundated with comments for forgetting like what they called it. But um, that second iteration of the show is where Naugahyde is from. And he was another character that they brought in just to kind of add to the dreadnoughts and, you know, have some new characters mixed in. Here's a look at the new packaging for G.I. Joe for the deluxe versions. And, and I like it. I saw a lot of people complaining. I like having the, uh, the photo, the figure photography on the back of the package. We still get the artwork on the side. And this is just a much more compact slimmer packaging so having a bunch of these and storing them on the shelf is going to be very easy it's not going to be such a pain as it was previously so i'm a fan of the new redesign uh, across the board but uh let's get him open because there's quite a lot of stuff in there that i want to take a look at all right so here's a look at knock outside of the package and this is really cool so essentially he's gun ho this is the gun ho body they redecoed the whole entire thing with some new accessories and stuff and the tattoos and everything, obviously. And it looks great. So why can't the Star Wars brand do that again? Somebody? Anybody? Uh, 
<laughs> here is the wild boar and this just looks sick uh so fully articulated like most of the other animals i would be careful about the jaw though opening it if you open it too far it kind of pops out like this so you just got to be careful that you don't lose that um but i love that they did that they even did the tears like running down the eyes which is something from a boar usually has whenever you see a wild boar I, I love the animals. I, I'm always a fan of the animals, and no matter what I do with the G.I. Joe Classifieds line going forward, I will always pick up the animal packs uh, just because I love animals as, as a person, and I love the fact that they're fully articulated and go with all of your six-inch stuff. So I've said it multiple times. I would take a full animal line if, they, if Hasbro just decided, hey, we're going to make 112th articulated animals. I would be all in because I, I love them. And I think they're such a great addition to your shelf. The monkey, on the other hand, is just standardized. So it's in a pose. It's not going to move. Uh, I don't know if there's any articulation. No, there's not even articulation on the head um, or the tail. So nothing moves on the monkey. He's just kind of there he does have an eye patch i'm sure there's a story someplace with him not having an eye and naga hide having those scratches on the top of his head <laughs> uh he comes with the rifle pack that uh came with i forget low light i think that's who came with this um and so this opens and you can stash your rifle and all of the parts and accessories in there which is great uh you get the scope you get this sword that's got like a wrist sheath to it so I, you can attach it to his wrist or, you know, actually have him hold it like a sword, which is pretty cool. You get two knives. They're both the same. You get his Crocodile Dundee hat, which looks awesome when it's put on. Um, you get this arrow pack, which does have a clip to uh, hold the bow in there, which is nice. I wasn't sure if that was going to be able to, but again, they made it really nice and have the extra spot for the arrow to go in, which is perfect. I love this. I think this is awesome. I think this is a great use of the price point. Uh, again, something that G.I. Joe Classifieds has that other brands do not is we know when a figure gets solicited, basically which tier price point it's going to fit in. And we know automatically, okay, this is going to be this. It's coming with an animal and it's going to be this price. I wish the other brands at Hasbro would adopt that same similar mentality. Uh, overall, I love this. I think he looks great. I'm so excited to complete you know almost complete the dreadnoughts might as well go back to back dreadnoughts here with torch and this is the slimmer packaging design for classifieds and this looks good so this is smaller than the uh, legends or black series it's just a little bit thinner um i can't believe he's 123 in the line like that's insane to me um i've been collecting joe's pretty much since the start but i, I do pick and choose i don't have all 123 but for those of you guys that are completists, that's a lot of Joes in a couple of years. Um, I'm not complaining. It's just when you see the number, uh, you know, it, it does shock you. Here's a look at the back with the artwork and then the artwork on the side. And let's get him open. All right. So here is a look at Torch outside of the package. And I got to say for all the stuff that he came with, you would think this would have been a deluxe. It, it definitely would have been a deluxe in Legends or Black Series. That's for sure. Um, so one thing I did notice getting him out of the package is he's got that loose articulation at the at the, the, the chest there, the torso. It's very loose. So this rocks, as you can see. Um, that's unfortunate. It, it does happen with Joe's quite a lot. It, it's a common occurrence. So I'm not too upset about it but it is you know a little bit of a bummer that they still have yet to fix that with any of the new figures um here's the one flame effect that looks incredible here is the second one that he comes with he also comes with like you know the start of it so if you just want to have him like armed and getting ready to flame throw that plugs in really nice the skull with the flames on the flamethrower gun is sick um, you get the hose you get the backpack for the flamethrower and you get two pistols so like i said a lot of stuff that he comes with and this looks awesome so all of the dreadnoughts have been very good um buzzer and wrecker i was missing their backpacks like i I feel like they should have came with their traditional stuff. So maybe on a retro release, that'll get fixed with them. And the uh, the glasses will be sculpted on like they are with Torch. Because 
there was no reason to have those glasses removable and no one's taking them off once you're posing them up for the dreadnoughts but torch looks awesome uh really really great addition i'm happy to have him especially if you're reading the um the skybound energon universe stuff torch was a lot of fun in uh that, that cobra commander book so really really cool here's a look at torch shooting that flamethrower and due to that uh torso articulation being loose it's going to be tough to get him into some poses that like i would want because he's going to want to tip over unless i have him posed back a little bit because of the weight of the backpack and the flamethrower so that is a little bit disappointing but it does look really really cool on your shelf and then you have the extra flame effects for barbecue i believe it is that didn't come with flame effects so that's a nice little touch there Next up, let's take a look at my personal favorite, Jinx. Um, I love Jinx from the G.I. Joe movie, and then subsequently after that, she's a big part of the Scarlet Solo book that's currently going on by Skybound, which has been really cool, uh, being full-blown Arasha Kage. Uh, she is part of the family, so it's nice that now we have Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, Scarlet, and her. Um, also, Kamakura is out there, which is technically Arasha Kage. I Yes, um, <laughs> but having the main four is what I really wanted. I would like a Don Moreno at some point uh, doing Lady Snake Eyes. That would be perfect to kind of complete it. Um, she is one of like the newer comic book characters that I, I really would want. So here is a look at the back of Jinx and the side art. So let's get her open. So here is our look at Jinx outside of the package and she looks incredible. No looseness on her. My only thing that I'm not personally a fan of is this tattoo down her arm. Never had that in the cartoon. Uh, she wore long sleeves in the cartoon. I was fine with them even going the short sleeve route, but having this full blown tattoo down her arm is very taboo, especially for her culture. Um, usually Japanese culture frowns upon tattoos. So the Arashikage symbol is one thing, but having like a full blown Lotus tattoo and sleeve is a totally different thing. <laughs> um, so personally, I probably could have done without that and maybe down the line they'll do a retro version that'll have like the full sleeves. That's maybe what I'll have to do. Um, she comes with her staff. She comes with this sword, which I don't really like already because it's not painted. Um, there's really no paint to it at all. What I'll probably do is I'll probably give her the backpack that came with Quick Kick. She comes with uh, open hands and then the fists, which is nice. Here's the masthead, which is really cool i i like the mask head actually over the unmasked i'm glad they gave us both but i do kind of prefer the mask over and then she comes with the blindfold which is a nice little added you know thing to to give her i think i got it upside down there it is stretchy so it does like fit over and then you can kind of adjust it when you get it on her but i dig it I, I like that they included that accessory with her. You know, that was something that she needed. Uh, a big scene from the movie is, is her kicking the crap out of Beachhead with blindfolded. So really, really awesome. Uh, I like this. I, I'm, I'm happy with it. Like I said, my only complaint really is, is this sleeve on her arm that's not really needed for anything. <laughs> I would like to know, though, what came first, uh, the figure or the Skybound look, because they did copy this in the Skybound uh, book for Jinx's character now. So she, she does have this tattoo now, but obviously didn't before. So I, I, I wonder if they're just going with like the classified artwork and then basing all the characters off that because so far in the books pretty much all the characters will look like their classified version which is pretty cool as a collector of classifieds here's a look at her with the mask on and i like it but i do i, I prefer the masked head sculpt but i think having the sleeveless look and the skin showing at her torso kind of messes up the mask looked a bit it just looks odd like this um if she was totally covered up like she was in the original movie i think that masked head would look 10 times better so yeah I, I i like her they could definitely improve on this so i'm hoping that there is plans for a retro jinx at some point point. and last but not least another one i was really looking forward to with 
Doc. They really knocked it out of the park with this one. So all of his pouches are interchangeable on this vest. So you can basically move them around, put them however you want. Uh, one of the ones that comes, you know, out already detached is his medic kit, you know, insignia. I love this. And he's got the pouches on the back and the side. And this just looks so, so cool. Um, I'm showing you without the glasses because I wanted to show that they do go on very well and hold pretty well. So they're not going to pop off like, uh, like some of the dreadnoughts that's actually on there. That'll stay on there, which is good. And then you have the helmet for him, of course. He's also got like another holster that can plug into his vest for the flare gun, which is awesome. Uh, I think this is the first time we've gotten a flare gun in Classified, so that's pretty cool. And then he's got what looks like a taser, and then the stretcher that folds open. This is really, really cool. Hopefully we'll get Lifeline and Dial Tone at some point as well, so then you can kind of have your whole crew of, of the three of them. I love that this attaches to his back. I, I really think this is going to be a great figure for the helicopter so when that arrives you should be able to strap this uh stretcher into the winch and literally like lower and raise it and have you know doc working on somebody off the chopper that's gonna be a lot of fun um so i'm really interested to see what you guys do with that when you get it doc also has the um, attachment in his helmet so that if you have the, the tools from Airborne, you can always pop them in there. Uh, pretty cool. I, I like that they've been doing that. He also got what looks like pills stashed in his helmet. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, I dig this. This is really awesome. And here's Doc with all his gear on. And if you do want everything strapped into him, including the um, stretcher, then you do have to take out one of the packs. So you have enough spots for everything to fit on him except for one of the packs. So one of them you could take off and then pop in the stretcher. But if you're going to have him using the stretcher, you could just pop that in that open slot on the back there. And I really like that. I, I think that's a cool thing that going forward might be something they could do with a lot more different characters um having you know those swappable attachments for the vests would be a nice touch and a one-up over that other company that makes figures similar so i would definitely like to see that because I, I think that's stepping the game up significantly i, I love doc like he's really awesome I, i'm really really happy with all of these figures so far well, that'll do it for today. Overall, I'm happy to get some new Joes. It's It's been a while, so I, I'm really excited for this wave in particular. Uh, all of these characters are really awesome. Like I said, my only complaint probably is with Jinx, and she was the one I was looking forward to the most, um, and that loose torso on Torch. So those are pretty much the only two issues that I had with them. Otherwise, they come loaded with stuff. It's crazy that, you know, I guess because they're not paying the IP to anybody else that they can include as much as they're including compared to some of the other brands because that licensing fee is, is in the Legends and is in Star Wars. But I really love this line. I love what they're doing and wish for the continued success of it. Uh, but let me know in the comments what you guys think and if you're going to be picking these up or passing on them. And thank you so much for taking time to check out the video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always... May the force be with you. This is the way. We would be honored.